Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see the basics and concepts related to determinants. The question we have is, what is a determinant? A determinant can be explained as follows. Every square matrix can be associated with a, with a real number called its determinant. The use of determinants arose from special numbers, special number patterns that occurred during the solution of a linear equation. So let me explain that with an example. Let's say we have a system of linear equations of this form. Let's say we have a1x plus b1y, b1, b1y is equal to c1. We'll call this as equation number one. And let's say we have another equation, a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 and we'll call that as equation 2. Therefore we can find the va we can solve the system of linear equations in this manner. We can write this as x can is equal to b2 times c1 minus b1 times c2. I will explain this a little bit more in a minute. Divided by a1 times b2 minus a2 times b1 and we can find we can also write uh, the value of the variable y as equal to a1 c2 minus a2 c1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 provided that the denominator, this is the denominator here, this part a to b1 minus a, a1 b2 minus a to b1 in the x part of it and then a1 b2 minus a to b1. These, these the denominators are the same in both these, uh, in, in these equations here and therefore provided the denominators do not go to zero. In this case, the denominator, the, the denominator is called the determinant. In this case, the denominator is called the determinant. So, another way of explaining the same concept is as follows. Let me uh, write the given set of linear equations in this format. I'm going to pick up the coefficients of x and y and then write it out in this, in this manner as a matrix. A1, B1, a2, B2, like that. This is 2. And then I'm going to put that in, in uh, this box like that. And then times, the variables here are x and y is equal to the constant terms here are C1 and C2. Right? Therefore, we can think about this as an equation uh, of this form. This is an A matrix this is the variable matrix and this is the constant matrix. So the A matrix here, the A matrix here is the coefficient matrix. The coefficient matrix here is A1, B1, A2 and B2. This is called the coefficient matrix. right? And to find the determinant of A, we can write that as DET of A, like that, or sometimes it is also written out as A with uh, two lines on the side like that. This is, this is uh, read as de determinant of A, DET of A, that A means determinant A, or uh, determinant of A, which can also be represented this way. And now we're going to just pick up the elements and then just write it in these two um, la parallel lines on the side A1, B1, A2, B2. We are now finding the determinant of the coefficient matrix. To do that, this is what we're going to we, this is how it is going to come out. We're going to take the, the elements along the major diagonal and then write the product out here like this a1 times b2 
and then we're going to take the minor diagonal product of that and then write it out here. We're going to subtract it from the major diagonal product. This is going to be A2, B1. So this is what is, uh, is the definition of a determinant. As you can see here, the, the denominator of the variable terms which we have written in, the, in a few lines above this, A1, B2, this part here, I'm going to show this in another color so that way you can see that A1, B2, A minus A2, B1 and then A1, B2, minus A to B1. That is exactly the same what we have here. The denominator in this variable in this expression was the determinant in fact and that is how we can define the determinant of a of a matrix. In my next presentation we shall look at whether the determinant could be a positive value, a negative value or a zero value.